In what appears to be a sustained coordinated attack on communities in Logo and Yukon local government areas of Bensdegt, suspected herdsmen struck again, allegedly killing a 75-year-old man and 14 others, Vanguard reports. We gathers that the attack reportedly took place on Tuesday evening, April 10, and the affected communities include Gnukum local government area, Yukimburgia. Swerev War, Channel 1 Community, Orver and Andajura Villages and Tombo Community in Logo Local Government Area of the State. A former aide to the ex-governor of Bin State who is from one of the affected communities reportedly stated, it all started two days ago but Tuesday evening between 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. was when the fully armed herdsmen came down heavily on the affected communities. They went to Gnukum local government area and had a free day. They burnt down houses and killed about eight people in the community and injured many. They did not stop at that. After that operation, they came down to Yukimburgia, Swerev ward in Logo local government area, at Channel 1 community of Swerev clan and killed two people, burnt down houses and one motorcycle there. They came unchallenged from Tungwai in Nasarawa state to attack our communities, and after the operation, they usually pull back or retreat to where they came from. But before yesterday's incident, in the last 72 hours we have been facing these attacks. Before yesterday they mounted a roadblock at about 2 p.m. around an abandoned mobile barracks projects at Enin and killed somebody there. As I speak to you, the mobile police at Enin in Logo local government area just removed the corpse of the victim and deposited same at the NKST hospital mortuary. This is apart from the attack on Tumbu ward in the same local government where four people were also killed. These killing have been going on in the last 72 hours. It is obvious from this development that the security personnel sent to the area are either insufficient or they have been overwhelmed. We appeal that more mobile police personnel be posted to our communities. The attacks were reportedly confirmed by the state's commissioner of police, Fatai Oasani, who stated, there was an incident in Gji and we are investigating. There is said to be an attack by suspected herdsmen in the area but we can confirm that as at this morning, four dead bodies were recovered there. We have stepped up security in the area and we are investigating. The governor of the state, Samuel or Tom, reportedly stated, the manner in which the armed herdsmen invade communities of the state and slaughter innocent people is not different from the mindless acts of Boko Haram in the northeastern part of the country. They come with sophisticated weapons and kill people, match at them and chase them away. He continued, in some cases, they do not have herds. They just come with their weapons kill and chase the people out and take over the land, that is the worrisome part of it. The trend of attacks on Bin was beyond mere grazing of livestock. If the invaders were only interested in grazing, the massive destruction of lives and property would not have been their priority. <laughs> <laughs>